Hey guys, wanted to pop on for just a minute and kind of talk a little bit about uh, somewhat of a dirty word, I guess, in, in real estate. It's uh, short sale and foreclosure. So um, I have a certification from the National Association of Realtors. It's an SFR certification, which means I'm a short sale foreclosure um, resource. And what that means for you is if you guys feel like you are in a position where you may unfortunately uh, have to go down the path of losing a house to a bank, whether you're currently behind, whether you think you might be behind at some point, um, if that's something that you're currently facing or looking at or need to plan for, absolutely, I can be a resource for that. And I have... Um, a few years that I spent in the banking business. Um, so I've, I've seen kind of how it works on the bank side. So I have a little bit of insight as to how they look at a borrower that has uh, either fallen behind on payments or is about to or struggles to make payments. Uh, things that you can do that won't cost you a dime to kind of open up those lines of communications with your bank. With the bigger thing today uh, that I wanted to kind of make everybody aware of. Obviously, we're all kind of crunched in this current economy. Um, things are getting outrageously expensive. Um, we'll just leave the real estate market out of it because that's a whole other whole other topic on supply and demand. But gas, groceries, uh, electricity, everything that we depend on uh, daily, uh, seems like it's getting harder and harder to make our dollar stretch to the end of the month. So if you find yourself in a position where... There might be um, a time where you don't think you're going to be able to make the next payment. Um, you're, you know, looking at your saving account that is dropping every month just to kind of cover the bills that you have to pay. Um, income may or may not have changed. Uh, you may have had some dings with, um, you know, health insurance went up. I know everybody, especially in the group health plans, if your company is is uh, paying some or all of it. Um, you probably saw a, an increase in um, what what that's coming out of your paycheck if you're paying some of it. Um, say you don't have health insurance and so you're having to go to the open market and pay for health insurance and that's gone up. So there are things that um, can qualify you for a hardship uh, that can open the door to have those discussions with your bank or credit union uh, in order to you know make sure that you're working with them, they're working with you, and that it can be a um, amicable agreement if the time comes where it's, you decide to sell. Now, let's talk about that for a second. If you're in a spot where the mortgage payment is just literally more than you can handle, um, there is uh, one of two options. One, you can stop making payments to the bank, you'll get foreclosed on, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it's gonna you know, have a bad blemish on your credit, and any equity that you may or may not have in the house is essentially going to go away. Um, banks are generally going to sell the house for what they have in it. Um, you know, they'll add some fees to it to to deal with the house as it's going through foreclosure. Um, so anything that you've got in it likely is going to to disappear. Now, on the flip side of that, uh, let's say that you bought the house um, a couple years ago and you paid a huge amount of cash. Uh, in front of it to win the bid. We all know how some of those crazy bidding wars were going, and unfortunately, I haven't come across any yet, but I would assume that there's some people that are underwater because of the amount of money they put down just to win the bid. So that is also kind of a, you know, another dirty word, I guess, uh, that we could say. So if you find yourself in a situation like that where you have no equity in the house, uh, it's becoming harder and harder to make those payments then you need to put a plan together sooner than later um, as far as how you're going to deal with it, solve it. Uh, one of those options is contacting someone like me that has the experience to deal with the banks, to have that um, kind of that mouthpiece, if you will, to be able to, to approach them. The other thing is if you currently are on time with your uh, mortgage, then you're in a little bit better shape than, say, if you're four, five, six, seven months behind, um, much less of a, of a hole to dig out of, i.e. you don't have a hole, um, then that way it's, it's easier to have that discussion uh, with the bank. So kind of a, a personal story for, for me before I got into real estate 
uh, a few years ago, my wife and I were in a house that I'd had a, a job change, was downsized from a big company, and we had saving uh, that we were uh, kind of running things on while I was you know, trying to find what the next thing is that I was going to do. Was I going to get back into the same industry that I was in? Do I want to start something different? Um, and it kind of got to the point where we kept watching our saving account disappear. So we had to make a decision, which was to ultimately sell the house, buy something cheaper, uh, and kind of start over. And that's what we did. Um, had we kept on, strong possibility we would have run out of money, and then things would have got ugly from there. So if you find yourself in a spot where you've got saving to kind of, um, you know, keep you going down the road for now, but at some point that's going to run out and you need to make a plan, that's certainly where I can come into play or any other agent. They don't necessarily have to have this, this SFR certification from the National Association. I just went through the class to, you know, get recertified, kind of brought up to speed on what they look for. And obviously with my, um, you know, background in banking helps as well. So um, any agent can help you out. So obviously your better option if you can do it, and I say if, on the, on the flip side of can you find something that's cheaper that, that fits your budget better than what you're currently in today, um, then absolutely you're better off trying to sell it yourself um, you know, with an agent, get it done, um, and then you know, get things taken care of. Um, you know, as you're, as you're kind of having to step forward, if you find yourself you know, having to have those tough conversations with your bank or credit union, then it's obviously something that somebody like me could step in and help with those discussions and to make sure that they understand what we're trying to do. You understand what you need to do, um, and then you know make those make those tough those tough choices. <clears throat> and it is a tough choice, and that's why I bring up that I was in that same position where I had to make the decision of selling this house that we liked, and you know it was a nice house, um, but it was just we were in a spot where we had to make some changes or things were going to get really nasty. So, um, again, if you find yourself in a spot where you don't know where next month's mortgage payment is coming from, uh, or if you feel like it's time to downsize or make some changes, I'd be happy to have that discussion with you to see how I can help. Um, if, um, if you're in that spot where the bank's been calling and, and, uh, you know, you're behind, I can still absolutely help. Um, give me a holler. Uh, everything is confidential. So if I can be of service, I'd be happy to help, um, even if it's just to have a conversation to to uh, kind of tell you what's going on and, and you kind of understand, um, you understand better where you're at than, than I do. Um, if you just need somebody to affirm that, I can certainly help you do that.